mummies. There are two of them. One, two. They cute. Yeah, they're they're cute. Uh, okay, okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, and they're thick. The mummies are easy to kill if you know what to look for, which is what this video will show you. There are four mummy patterns, and some are faster than others. The pattern you get is primarily based on how quickly you get to the boss room. Once you fully enter the room, the fight will begin, and the pattern you get will be locked in. However, Simon's movement can also affect the mummy's patterns, so it's important to learn the movement too. First, we'll look at how to start the fight and where to stand. I use this cobweb in the background, and when I pass over it by about half, I turn back to the left, break the block, and stand under it. Standing under the block will prevent the mummy on the left from knocking you around when he hits you. Once the mummies start moving, the mummy on the left will tell you what pattern you have. Watch him closely. Our goal is to get the mummies to overlap with each other so our cross does a ton of damage due to a glitch. The first pattern we see here is the mummy actually stops on you for a moment. When this happens, it's very important to step up just a tiny bit. This will coax the mummy into walking over into his buddy. Once the mummy on the left is about halfway through the pillar behind him, throw your crosses. With the second pattern here, the mummy will walk into the room, but almost immediately turn around to blast you. I wait for him to come up and give me a kiss, and then I start blasting. With the third pattern, the mummy will walk into the room about halfway, then turn around to attack. When I see that I don't get either of the first two patterns, I wait until the mummy is over the first spider web, and then I move in. I'm going to throw my first cross to break the bandage projectile that's coming for me. I do this for both of the last two patterns. My movement for this and the next pattern are the same. With the fourth pattern, the mummy will walk right over to his friend. I wait to see if I got pattern one or pattern two, and if I didn't, I wait for the mummy on the left to walk over the cobweb. I then step up to throw my cross to line up with the bandage, and then immediately throw my second cross after that. I hope this tutorial has shown you how to beat the mummies from the left side. There's also a strat to beat the mummies from the right side. This involves a little RNG manipulation, and is actually the best way to play the screen, in my opinion, for a new player. I've already covered this in another tutorial, and there are other tutorials out there, so I'll leave a link in the description below.